Well, it's been about a year, one year since they came out with a new lineup of Mercury four strokes. And I've been really lucky. I've got to run several of the engines. I ran the 150, I've run this 225. Uh, Chase had a uh, 300 on his ZV20. All of them have been really super impressive. So what makes them so impressive? I think what you got to do is go back in history a little and look at four strokes in general. When four strokes came out years ago, what people liked about them is that they were very smooth running and that they got really good gas mileage. These new engines are no different. Smooth running, really, really good gas mileage. But some of the issues that they had early on were things like they were heavy and they didn't have very good hole shot and, and torque. Well, those are also cured with this new line of four strokes. Mercury has done several things to improve performance overall. First of all, they take and they make these engines now with what's called high displacement. That just means everything in the engine is bigger, the cylinders, the pistons, and so every time that motor strokes, it's gonna put a lot more power down to the prop. So you're not gonna see that sluggish hole shot. You're gonna see an unreal hole shot. You're gonna see good top end power. They also made the engine a lot lighter by using high-tech materials. So especially on aluminum boats like this one, you don't want a lot of weight in the transom. It just makes that boat sit funny. These are nice and lightweight to give it optimal performance. So when you're looking at a four-stroke, these new engines give you everything you want. They're lightweight, they're smooth running, they've got the high displacement to give you low-end torque for hole shot and wave running, but great top-end speed and they got great gas mileage to get you all over the